Well, Marilyn, what do you think of the new set of wheels? <laughs> Fair deal Dan and I practically stole it from Cary Grant. <laughs> oh, Uncle Herman, a convertible. Hmm, it looks all right. Uh, start it up. Start it? Well, I don't think even you would buy a car without a motor in it. Yes. And didn't you drive it? Well, it stalled right after I left the lot. It was downhill, so I sort of coasted home. <laughs> Start it up, Pop. Well, it runs. Herman, I've got to hand it to you. Hmm. You bought the only car I've ever seen that junks itself. Golly. Do you think Fair Deal Dan stuck me? Stuck you? Herman, you've been shish kebobbed. <laughs> now you just take this heap down to your Fair Deal Dan. And, and Marilyn, you, you go in the house and get the phone number for the Better Business Bureau. Yes, Aunt Lily. Come on, Eddie. Now, now, Lily, dear, his name is Fair Deal Dan. And if I imply that he gave me a rotten deal, he's liable to go into a tizzy and stamp his foot and call me a poor sport and everything. Arnold, what's the matter? Are you afraid of your own shadow? No, I'm not. I've seen it lots of times. And it hardly scares me at all anymore. German Munster, you take this car right back down to that used car lot. And, and you demand your money back. Yes, dear. Aunt Lily, I brought the number of the Better Business Bureau. It's Klondike 5470. Thank you, dear. And then you're going to report your fair deal, Dan, to the Better Business Bureau. Yes, dear. Come on, Marilyn. Oh, thank you, Uncle Herman. Now, don't feel bad. You tried. Hmm. You tried. So did Napoleon at Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa? Okay. Okay, Herman, I'll go with you. Before you stumble over it, let's see if we can get this thing back together so we can bring it back. Oh. <laughs> 